Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The time required for 10% completion in the first order reaction is equal to that required for 25% completion at 308K. So it's first order reaction, difference in temperature you see, but the time required is different. Value of A is given, we have to find the value of K and that too at a different temperature. All different temperature and E, e is activation energy and that is temperature independent that also we have to find see the catch here is time required for 10% completion at 298 is equal to time for 25% completion at 300 this is the first clue we have Let's find this first. In both the case, we'll have different k, right? In this case, if it is k, it will be k dash. The rate constant will be different. You have seen that the rate constant is different for different temperature, and that's what our initial equation says. So time required for 10% of completion at 298 Kelvin is nothing but we know that the formula is T is 2.303 by k log of R0 by R. This is the universal formula we know. First case, T will be what? 2.303 and here let's suppose rate constant is K, this side by K into log of R0 by R. R will be what? 10% complete, that means R will be 90% of R0, that is 0.9 R0. Right, I'm just doing it fast. R minus 10% of, see R is nothing but R0 minus 10% of R0. That is R0 minus 0.1 R0. That is 0.9 R0. Correct. This is equal to the second case. Again, time is nothing but 2.303. Here K is nothing but K dash. Log of. Here also, let's suppose my initial concentration is instead of R0, I have let's suppose P0. So if it is P0, my final concentration is. P is nothing but P0 minus 25% of P0. That is nothing but 0.75 P0. Right? These R0 P0 can be any numbers, but again they'll get cancelled, so I'm not much for it. So you solve this, this you get 0.1054 K is equal to 2.2877 K dash. Correct. So with this, I get k dash by k, or if I can find anything, k dash by k is 2.7296. What will I do with this now? I know the rate constant, this is for the second reaction, first reaction, and I know the relation between them. But I also know one relation which I just use is log of k0 by k is Ea by 2.303. R, I just derived it in the last example by T dash minus T by T T dash. Just I derived in the last example. Using this uh, K is equal to Ea e to the power minus Ea by RT. The same uh, example, same equation I derived this formula. You can just see, the, if you don't, if you're confused with this formula, you can just see the past, uh, the, the numerical before this where we derived this. This I know. Right, we have to find Ea, R is something I know, T dash and T also I know, right? This is my T, this is my T dash. Correct, this is my T dash, this is my T. I'll put all the values, only Ea is unknown to me. I'll get the value of Ea. Let's put the value. Log of K dash by K is nothing but 2.7296 is equal to Ea by 2.303. R is 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin and T dash is my 308, E is my 298 Kelvin by T, T dash that is 308 into 298 Kelvin. Right, this will be Kelvin into Kelvin actually, so 1 Kelvin will get cancelled. 
and one current will get cancelled from this. So when you solve this, you get E as 76640 almost joule per mole. That is my activation energy. So we have found activation energy. Correct. So we have found activation energy. We can easily find K at any temperature. A is also given. How? So till now we have found activation energy, this value. Right? So we have to find K. So we know this formula K is nothing but A e to the power minus Ea by Rt, the golden formula. So we will put log both sides, log K is equal to log K minus Ea by 2.303 Rd. Ea is something we know. T is something we know. 318 Kelvin. R is something we know. And A is something is given. So let's put all the value. Log of A is 4 into 10 to the power 10 per second minus Ea 76640 joule per mole. Please note it has to be in joule per mole. Why? Because the unit of R we will be using is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. And uh, T, T is 318 Kelvin. KK gets cancelled. Correct. And this is per second also, I think. So, with this, you solve this, it gets cancelled. Everything gets cancelled, and uh, what you get is log k is minus 1.9855 per second, or k is nothing but 1.034 into 10 to the power minus 2 per second. You can just solve this using anti log. Log of k is this, so k is nothing but anti log of minus 1.9855, and you will get the value. We'll take one more reaction. The rate of reaction quadruples when the temperature changed from 293 to 313 Kelvin. That means the rate, if this was K, it becomes voltage. In fact, the whole rate of reaction changed. So, I'm using a rate constant change because the rate of reaction is equal to constant into concentration of my reactants. Assuming this is same, assuming this is same, the rate of reaction change implies rate constant change. Correct? Because we are not changing the concentration, we are just changing the temperature. Please note here the rate of reaction is changing. I'm assuming that this is implied rate constant is changing. Because we are changing temperature, we are not changing the concentration. We have to calculate the energy of activation reaction assuming it does not change with temperature. We are assuming energy of activation is not changing with temperature. Correct. So we have uh, 293 Kelvin to 330 Kelvin. Let's assume this was T1, this is T2. Here I was K1 and this was K2. So if K1 was X, K2 is x correct the formula which we derive we'll just use log k2 by k i won't derive this formula for you we derive this in one of the numericals you can watch that is ea by 2.303 r by t2 minus t1 by t1 d2 this formula is derived from the golden formula that is k is equal to a to the power minus ea by You take log k both side, log k1 and write equation for log k2, say log k2 minus k1, a part will get cancelled and you will get this formula. Put the values here. Log of k2 is what 4x, k1 is what x is equal to Ea 2.303, R is 8.314, t2 and t1 is given, t2 is what 313, t1 is 293. T2, T1 multiply, put all the units here, right, 
when you, this becomes log 4 so when you solve this ea comes out to be 52863 joule per volt and that is my answer right because this will be in joule per volt per kelvin this will be in kelvin this will be in kelvin square plus two kelvins one get cancelled from here one get cancelled from here so joule per volt is the unit that is left thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again